I'm 16 and I'm 36 weeks pregnant. I was really shocked, sort of didn't know what to do at first. I, I was focusing on my wrestling and that was not even on my mind, let alone in the back of my mind. I can't wait until sort of this, this part of it is over and I just want to sort of get on with it now and be a mum so I can get back to being me. <laughs> Sixteen-year-old Danielle is due to have a little girl in just four weeks. She lives with her mum Sarah and Grand Jenny in Norfolk. Well, I mean, obviously, I'm looking forward to it. She better not be like her mother. <laughs> what do you mean? What's wrong with me? You used to cry. Every baby cries. Not like you two did. Oh, you're never happy, <laughs> are you? I lost my virginity when I was just before I turned 14. I then fa fell pregnant when I was 15. It was a complete accident, me getting pregnant. Uh, I was on the pill and had not missed one pill. 15 is far from an ideal age to have children. It's very, very strange looking at your daughter and thinking, oh, my word, she's got a little one in there. I was disappointed because I thought she's never going to have a... Well, not a teenager's life, is she, because of the baby. Danielle didn't have her dad in her life until she was 12, when Mum Sarah revealed who he was. <laughs> Professional wrestler, Carl the Barbarian Kramer. It wasn't until, I think it must be about four or five years ago, and that was when I told them both that, that, that he was her dad. He didn't know either. It was a shock for her as much as it was me, to f one for her to find out who I was. <laughs> and for me to find out who she was. And ever since then, we've been really, really close. Before she got pregnant, Danielle had already left school without her GCSEs and has now decided to follow in her dad's footsteps. I've been doing it for about around four years now, minus the break of me being pregnant, but I am hoping to get back to it. Her dad wasn't pleased that her career was going to be on hold for a baby. It's a stupid age to have a kid, in my eyes. You know, you haven't seen life. You haven't been nowhere, you haven't done nothing. She was, she was doing well. She was just starting to get out onto the circuit. Um, now she's, got, she's back at the bottom again and she's got to work her way back up. Danielle might not be able to wrestle, but she's still going every week with her mum, who MCs the matches. This is going to be a last man standing match. She's desperate to get back in the ring and has set a goal of two months after the birth. at the moment to be honest getting a bit tired of being pregnant and um, watching all of this doesn't really help much One, two. Danielle is expecting her baby in just three weeks she might not be able to wrestle herself but she's come along to watch as usual fighting tonight is the father of her child Danielle met Alex two years ago when she was 14 and he was 16. But the relationship ended when Danielle was six months pregnant. Because of being pregnant, the, the breakup messed me up a lot more than I think it would have done if I wasn't pregnant. It was the immediate thought of, oh God, I'm going to be left on my own, what am I going to do? But we both decided that we were going to be friends. He said he still wanted to be in the baby's life. I said that was absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, we're like good friends and everything. We like, still talk. Like we'll, we'll so every now and then we'll text each other or like have a phone call and just, just see how things are going and stuff. So yeah, we still we still stay in contact. I'm gonna be there. I'm not worried about it or anything like that. Daniela's moved on since the split. Also on the build tonight is her new boyfriend. <laughs> 
23-year-old Scott, a.k.a. Fusion. I've known him for, well, since I started, so that's about four years. He is quite a bit older. I mean, he's 23. I was just surprised that another man that would want to go out with somebody who was eight months pregnant, but he's a nice chap, though. He does know the father of the baby, and they are quite good friends, funny enough. I was absolutely fine about it. I knew that, like, me and Danielle wouldn't get back together. I was, like, trying to get on with my life and glad to see she was trying to get on with hers and stuff, so... I would be funny. He's a nice guy and everything, but, so, I, I, you know, I'm happy for him. He was one of the first two people that I've, other than her father, that I wanted to discuss the relationship with. He said that if Danielle was to be with anybody else within the wrestling company, he'd rather it be me because he knows he can trust me and I'm not going to mess around in regards to when it comes to his child. I'm just going to be there solely for Danielle, but also obviously for the baby as well. But with Alex being as close to us as he is, I can't really see there being much of an issue. In Norfolk, 16-year-old Danielle is now a mum. She gave birth to daughter Gracie two weeks ago. <laughs> she was seven pounds, two ounces when she was born. She has been really good so far, actually. She only sort of wakes up once or twice in the night. And she's not, she's not really a crier, to be honest. It's tiring, really tiring but I wouldn't swap it for the world now. She's definitely got my nose and my mouth up from her nose sort of to her eyes and the way her face is, I think she definitely looks like Alex. I couldn't be more proud of the way Danielle coped with everything. She um, did a lot better than I did and she's still doing really well. Danielle's old wrestling partner, Alice, is here for the first sleepover since the baby arrived. What have you been doing? This week, then. What have I been doing this week? Mm -hmm. I've not really been doing that much, to be honest. Looking out for a baby, yeah, and that's yeah. about it. When I was breastfeeding it, I tried my breast milk. I can't help <laughs> it. I want to know what it tasted like. It just tastes like sweet, normal milk. And it was actually quite nice, and I could actually that drink that. <laughs> yeah, I could actually <laughs> drink that all day. Milk, you know? Oh, do you know what? After I tried that, I was like, wow, I don't blame you for liking boobs. With the birth behind her, Danielle is now focusing on getting back in the ring. Dan, when are you coming back to wrestling? I'll aim to come back mid-February. Yeah. And just see how I go. I'm a bit nervous about it, because obviously I need to get my body used to it again. Because, I mean, yeah. you don't obviously naturally throw yourself back and, like, hurt yourself, do you? It's not, like, a natural thing to do. So I have to get used to doing it again. She's a really good wrestler. Like, I look up to her for wrestling, because she's, you know, she's a bit of a big influence on me in wrestling. She's, a she's a natural at it. I think now she's a terrific mum. And, you know, I think she's good that she's wanted to carry on wrestling as well. She hasn't just given up on that. So I think I'm, I'm actually, I'm really proud of her, you know, how she's done everything. While Ross is becoming a hands-on dad, in Norfolk, new dad Alex isn't finding that so easy. His daughter is two weeks old and he's only seen her twice since the birth. You need to switch your grip, tell me, dude. That's no, right, I'm good now. OK. I'm, I'm missing a lot of things, yeah, like her baths and everything like that. I haven't bathed her, I've never fed her. I mean, the most I've done for her is cuddle her and change her bum. That's all. That's the most I've done for her, to be honest. So, yeah, I feel like I'm missing a lot of things. Alex lives an hour away, and travelling between the two is difficult for both him and Danielle. We're having quite a few problems in being able to see each other's each other's point of view. I think Alex ideally wants um, for me to take her to him. I think I'm just going to have to take it as it comes and keep in mind that uh, she's the most important thing. She's in Danielle's care, to be honest, so basically I have to sort of do what she tells me and have to try and abide by her rules, which I don't like. <laughs> yeah, I, I really do wish I waited with maybe somebody like who I knew I was going to be in a relationship with and stuff, but obviously things don't always work out the way you want them to. Okay. Alex is in training for a big wrestling match tomorrow night, 
But this is no ordinary fight. His opponent is Danielle's boyfriend, Scott. Hopefully I'm going to walk out champion. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping, anyway. I'm just hoping you walk out, mate. Since relations have deteriorated between Alex and Danielle, things between Alex and Scott have also gone downhill. He is now with your, the mother of your child, so you're always going to be part of her life. You tell me that's not going to grate him? Probably does. I just hopefully things will be sorted between me and him. We can help. It's the night of the big fight. Danielle watches from the sidelines as her ex and current boyfriends battle it out in the ring. stopped the fight and declared it a no contest, making nobody a winner. I was sort of a little bit apprehensive as to what was going to happen. I think it was fair match for a, for a good 10 minutes. Um, and then I think it went a bit sort of skew with. I mean, I don't know what's that, what that's got to do with. Maybe it's unfinished biz business. Maybe it's something to do with me. They, they might have taken personal differences into the ring, or maybe they've just got a little bit too carried away. Back in Norfolk, Danielle's wrestling career has been on hold for a year, but with the baby now two months old, she's ready to get back in the ring for the first time. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty nervous about it. I mean, I've been training all weekend to sort of get my body used to it again, um, and that's gone really well. So I'm hoping that tonight's going to go really well as well. I haven't tried my wrestling gear on yet because I've been a little bit too afraid to. Um, so I thought if I leave it until the night, then I've got no choice but to go out there anyway. <laughs> Ring has made her think about how to juggle her career as a wrestler with baby Gracie. Wrestling is most definitely what I, what I want to do. Gracie will affect my career um, in terms of going abroad, but that is something I knew would happen and I went into with open eyes. I am happy to wrestle in Norwich for the rest of my life. You know, I'm, I'm that addicted to it. I, I'd wrestle on the same show, in the same match, every single night if I had to because that is what I want to do. After a successful night's wrestling, Danielle is back in her role as a mum and boyfriend Scott is by her side. Before we were together when I knew you, I wouldn't have been able to see you sat there with like a baby. You're pretty serious looking and you're quiet. And <laughs> to everybody else, not to me. It's just a little bit strange at times, because obviously because I'm not her real father. I do what I can with what I'm able to, I think is the best way to describe it. Even though she's not mine, you know, she still kind of needs that sort of figure of a second, not parent, but stable individual in her life when Alex isn't around. Things between Alex and Danielle haven't improved. He put himself in the situation where he had a child on the way and he, he left. I'll never forgive him for leaving me, sort of for leaving her. I mean, it's still, even though I don't have any feelings for him anymore, it still sort of um, makes me tear up a bit just because. I used to think when I have kids, I wanted them to be sort of in a stable home with stable parents and they get on and she will now never have that. Um, 
I never had that. She won't have what the majority of other kids around her will have, which is what I will always be apologising to her for. But Scott's amazing with Gracie. Um, he loves her to pieces. He doesn't call himself dad, but he's there for her, and that's, that's all I'd want from a partner. I wouldn't want her to be under anybody else's care but mine and his. And Scott is now one of the only people I can really be myself with. Obviously, having Gracie has changed me quite a bit, but I wouldn't have it any other way.